Hey, hi, I am Chaitra uh, and this is Ankur. Uh, we have actually been working with Simi since I guess 2017 when we first bought our very first home in uh, Seattle. She's almost like a family member, like we don't even view her as a real estate agent. And um, so when we were about to buy our second home, she was like literally the first person that came to our mind and we reached out. Even the first time home buying process, she made it so easy. She's the only person we want to work with. Um, and so when we were buying the second home, we realized that this buying of the second home is such a different process. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we thought of Simi because we knew that she had the experience and the exposure of the area that we wanted to go move towards. Simi is just not like a typical real estate agent. She's almost like a family member, yes, but also she comes from the perspective of being your coach and a guide, not just the real estate transaction, but even at a personal level when she's guiding you through the home buying process. The challenges that come with buying a second home and the problems and just overall your mindset is so different from when you're purchasing your very first home. And I think there are a few reasons why second time home buying is different from first time home buying because now you know what you really want. You're more specific. And also, I think you're also most likely dealing with a larger transaction. Of course, it's complex in its own way, but also your mindset is again, different because now you're going to become the owner of two homes essentially yeah. whether you're planning to sell or you're planning to rent either way this is your second property and so buying your second property comes with its own responsibilities challenges and mindset stuff so it was really useful and very very helpful for us to have a guide like Simi who knew the real estate market really well and guided us very well on what's the best choice for us right? yeah especially through the process of looking at a house and making a decision and then putting up an offer yeah i think Simi helped a lot in going and beyond right to make sure that we found the right house for us and whatever questions we had she was able to use her connections and experiences show us the house in all those different areas we were convinced that that was the right house for us to buy yeah. and even through then the process of offer and then negotiating on the price of the house and what we wanted uh, did not want yeah. from the builder Simi used her experience and put a lot of effort into making sure that we got the best price and the yeah. best I remember I was happy with the price that the builder right. was offering and I was like Simi let's just do this but Simi was like, she was more proactive in negotiating and getting us the best offer more than even we were. We were ready to settle for a little bit of a higher price. But since he is so wise and insightful about the market, especially the area, like we moved to Samamish and she's really an expert in that area. She really knew how to negotiate and what to negotiate for. And she almost got our listing price down by 200k, which was huge savings for us. I think yeah. negotiating is also a skill. When to strike and when to back off. And I yeah. Simi did that very well. I don't think if we would work with anybody else, we would have gotten what we got at the end of it. Typically in the real estate market, like we hear a lot of things about like, oh, like the agent gives back a part of their commission to the client. And that is, I think, a pretty typical thing. And uh, Simi is not someone who follows that in her business. And I think there is value to the way she operates with that because I'd rather take her negotiation skills in return for the one person commission because yeah. what she saves for you and what she does for you goes way way above and beyond the little money that you're going to save by getting a return on the commission from your agent for us it was totally worth the value instead of saving on the smaller things she really goes above and beyond to bring the big bucks home and she really stands up for her clients the part that i really love about her is she's not really a real estate agent she's not guiding you through just the home buying process or just the transaction or it's not just that she truly looks into your life and who you are what is best for you and what fits the phase of life you're in she doesn't put pressure on you she mm -hmm. doesn't hurry up the process she's not behind you to just like buy some house and be done with it but rather she's truly invested in what's best for you now right. and in long term uh, and so that almost makes it feel very light on us i don't have to worry about making the wrong decision because i know i have a guide who's going to take me on the right decision it's like buying a home is probably always one of our biggest investments for most people and so just having a trusted guide and mentor who you don't have to second guess or because buying itself comes with its own headache you want somebody to cool you down and really root you and ground you during that time and Simi does that like no other person so your parents are not here but she kind of plays the role of really supporting you with this home buying thing so it's incredible like what she provides and what she brings to the table is just very very valuable.
time is essential for everybody in today's day and age. Yes. So anything that somebody does to reduce the tension or the time that you have to spend on anything is invaluable. I yeah. think. And Simi provides that. You know, yeah. whenever you have a question yeah. or you have any concern, I don't have to think about it. I can just call her yeah. and then you know she'll resolve it one way or another. And there was also like we put the offer and then there's a whole process of closing the house. And I think Simi was all the way through that process and yeah. it's such a large transaction there was always ups and downs and I think Simi was there to help us through that process as well. I never felt like I had too much stress going yes. through that process. I think people are worried about having the stress when they go through a high yeah. growing buying process. Honestly I did not feel a lot of stress. Even when it comes to the loan closing and things like that she's very hands on. She gets in with you. She knows all the things when it comes to even like closing the loan and the specific loan right. details on what you need, what you need in order to close the loan and things like that. And she was there throughout the process for us. And we decided to rent the house in December, which is not obviously the best time to rent. So there were ups and downs in the renting process. And there was a point where I was like, just get it rented. But then she always knew what the best renting price for that house. And she didn't allow us to budge for a lower price, which was really amazing. And we found the best renters. And she was there to support us even through that process. Simi's advice was really helpful. She was right in saying that just wait for a couple of weeks and you'll get the right people. And that's exactly how it played through, right? Like Christmas yes. happened, New Year happened, and then immediately we got multiple people to yeah. come look at the house and we signed the contract in like maybe a week after that. She brought the experience that's required and she told us yeah, step by step what to do with every part of the rental process as well. Yeah, Simi's insights and just overall wisdom about the real estate market is very, very invaluable. And along with that, just her warmth and the way she guides and supports you throughout the process and just how she is in it for you and not just the transaction, that makes it completely worth it to us. And for us, we've been her clients for two transactions now and like kind of given that we'll not look beyond her when it comes to any of our real estate needs. <laughs> yeah, she continues to support us just as a trusted family member almost at this stage after knowing her for like five, six years at this yeah. point. So very thankful for her and we're so grateful and uh, love you, Simi. Thank you so much.